show me. Hello everybody, Marsize Film Freak here, and I'm talking about Mortal Kombat, because the new uh, Mortal Kombat, the, the one that came out last year, uh, was greenlit for a sequel. They have announced that there will be a sequel to Mortal Kombat uh, 2021. What the title will be, we don't know. Hopefully not. Annihilation. But we're getting a second one, and I am like, I'm more wary than I was before. The first movie I was hyped to the frickin' sky for, I was ecstatic. I was like, this is going to be one of the best movies of the year. I'm so pumped. It ended up being the first disappointment of the year because it came out very early in the year on HBO Max. And it was one of the first times of the year where I said, oh, 2021 is going to suck. And I hate to say that because I love so many people involved and I, it just makes me sad. You want things to be good. You do. Um, but in Dead, it was bad. So we're gonna get a sequel. We're getting a sequel, and I am excited for new possibilities. I'm wary. I'm cautious. Far more cautious than I was before. But I do have sort of some ideas. Not that I matter at all in the industry of anything that could possibly go down. But I know that a lot of fans probably have some opinions that they probably agree with me. So I've got. I've got five things that Mortal Kombat needs to do, Mortal Kombat 2 needs to do, to be good. So let's not waste any more time. Let's break this down. What can Mortal Kombat 2 do to be way, way, way better and not disappointing? So here are five things that Mortal Kombat 2 needs to do. Number one, at the end of the first film, they teased Johnny Cage. At the end of the movie, he walks by a poster for some sort of Johnny Cage movie. We can't see who the person is. It just says Johnny Cage film. Um, so we're getting Johnny Cage. So number one has to be a martial artist needs to be Johnny Cage. Now, I know that you want charisma. You want somebody who's going to be the life of the party, the the energy in the room for Johnny Cage, but I've got to tell you, we don't need we don't need a regular actor for this. We don't need the Miz. The Miz can get the f out of here. We don't need uh, we just don't need an actor. We've got the actors. We've got the people who are just actors and Jessica McNamee and 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 whatever the dude's name who plays Jax and even kind of Tadanobu Asano. You know he doesn't do a lot of fighting. Uh, you've got the actors and the dude playing uh, Shang Tsung. You need a martial artist because Johnny Cage is. He's Jean-Claude Van Damme. He is one of the best martial artists, overall martial artists in Mortal Kombat. And of course, as a martial arts fan, I know myself and many others, we want Scott Atkins. This is one of the most perfect roles you could give to Scott Atkins in Hollywood. Someone who has not been given enough opportunities in Hollywood, it needs to be Scott Atkins. It, I mean, it should be. I don't know about needs to be, but it really, really should be. And, and here's the thing, you can go for multiple aspects of that. You can go to, he is an active, he is still a big time A-list star. John, Scott Atkins can pull that off, sure. But then if you say like, oh, he's 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 an old washed up has-been trying to rekindle some sort of fame. Scott Atkins is like 40 something. So he can pull that off too if you want him to. He's just maintained over the last 15 years. Scott Atkins has been the undisputed, pun intended, king of martial arts action B-movies. He needs to be Johnny Cage. It just needs to be. You can find somebody else, sure. I don't know who. I don't know who else you'd get. Elaine Moussi, maybe. That'd be pretty cool. But it needs to be a martial artist, and it should be Scott Atkins. Number two, there needs to be behind the scenes changes. Now look, I don't want anybody to be out of a job, you know, I want everybody to be successful and happy. I don't want the dude who directed the first one, Simon McCoy, to be broke and not working again. Give the dude something else to do. Give the dude any other movie to direct. Give Mortal Kombat to anybody else. Because the only people that liked Mortal Kombat were not even Mortal Kombat diehard fans, but like Mortal Kombat casuals who all they wanted to see was fatalities. And sure, that may be your core audience because that's going to be the vast majority of people. 
But no one else liked that. No one. The, the action was bad. The storytelling wasn't great. When I say behind the scene changes, I don't mean the director, which I do mean the director. I mean many people. The director needs to go. The choreography needs to go. You know what other movie the choreographer of Mortal Kombat choreographed? He choreographed like a SpongeBob movie. What is that? Uh, I know they've got a new writer. That's fine. Get a new editor because clearly the editor didn't know how to capture fight scenes at all all sure people say oh my god you see that freaking sub-zero scorpion fight you see a sub-zero scorpion fight bro you can't base a good movie off of two good fight scenes oh, do you see that beginning fight scene bro what are you talking about the fight this is the things that my coworkers would say to me whenever i'd be like the fight scenes were trash they'd be like did you see that first fight scene did you see that last fight scene yeah but you've got the first fight scene and the last fight scene sure you've got like two good bits right here you got a whole movie in between that that is just the garbage balls ass it's which made me so upset you can't base a good movie off of two good fight scenes you need so so what i what what needs to happen is it needs an action director and an action director is one thing you need an action director who has done martial arts martial arts movies um one that is floating around right now is liam o'donnell people want liam o'donnell who liam o'donnell took the skyline film the horror movie and made beyond skyline and skylines movies that have pretty good fight scenes pretty good uh action uh, they're pretty quality films. Uh, I'm not. I'm not against that. I'm. 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 I'm for the whole hashtag Liam for for MK2. I like those movies a lot. I think he did some really good things with the Skyline stuff. I think he could bring some really interesting stuff to Mortal Kombat. He's he's done that. He's done the special effects. He's done the science fiction. He's done some gore. Give it to him. Uh, but then you need a choreographer. And I don't know who you'd get. You know, there's a whole lot of people out there. My, immediately, my brain, if you're going to have Scott Atkins, you bring in Tim Mann. Tim Mann is just one of the best choreographers working right now. He could do some really interesting stuff with it. But there's a lot of people out there who could also do some really cool stuff. you got to get a new editor, someone who knows what they're doing, someone who knows how to do all that stuff. Changes need to be made behind the scenes because clearly there were issues and it really, really hurt the film. Other director possibilities, you know, I don't know, Gareth Evans, the dude's doing a movie with Tom Hardy on Netflix that, like, make that your litmus test, Hollywood, if you don't trust that the guy made some good movies in Indonesia and the dude made a great TV series and he's got another Netflix movie called, like, Apostle or something, like, what needs to be proven? But if he needs to prove something, then, then judge off his movie he's making with Tom Hardy and if it's good, give him Mortal Kombat. Give Gareth Evans Mortal Kombat because the dude can do gore, the dude can can do martial arts, the dude can do special effects. The dude is super well-rounded. The dude can do storytelling. Give Gareth Evans Mortal Kombat. If you don't give it to Gareth Evans, give it to Liam O'Donnell. I don't care. Number three is a follow-up of number two. Number three, the movie needs to focus on choreography over editing. Now, you can still have your fatalities. You can still have your gore. Films have proved this. Gareth Evans has proved this. What Gareth Evans does on something like The Raid and The Raid 2 is he calls them punchlines. You do good choreography. Good choreography draws the person in. It draws somebody into the action. It draws if you if you if you intertwine good choreography with storytelling throughout a fight scene, you are investing somebody. You are drawing somebody to the edge of their seat through the story, through the action, through the choreography, through every single movement on screen. Draws someone to the edge of their seat and then boom, you just hit them with some crazy act of violence and it shoves them to the back of their seat again. That's what a fatality could be. You you a, a brutality even. You you draw them in with good choreography. And then all of a sudden you hit them with a crazy, brutal, violent x-ray move or something like that, and that shoves them straight to the back of their seat. And that's your punchline. That's what Gareth Evans calls a punchline. That it needs to focus on choreography because choreography is far more interesting than editing. There's the scene that was in the first one where Jessica, Jessica McNamee jumps and does like a corkscrew through the air. She catches the knife. But in that time, it cut like twice, and it doesn't need to cut. If you just see her do the stunt, seeing a stunt, seeing a stunt and seeing a fight scene is far more interesting when you can see it. It needs to be done. Now, number four, something we can all agree on, something as Mortal Kombat fans, as movie fans, as martial arts fans, you need your original characters, I think. I think you need it really, you need more original characters. And I'm not saying I have a problem with Cole. I'm one of the few people that actually likes Cole because I like Louis Tan and Louis Tan can make anything good. I love Louis Tan a lot. Um, I don't have a problem with Cole, but that's, that needs to be it. That needs to be the only original character here. We don't need any more. If you're, if you're going to continue with this story, with this franchise, you need to bring in everybody. If you're going to do something i'll talk about in my next point um you gotta have katana and melina those are essential characters i think you gotta have your shao khan if you're gonna have shao khan you gotta get a big boy uh i know i saw something saying they wanted like the rock i don't know i don't know what that 
Uh, I don't know who you get for that. Be interesting, though. Uh, you just need your original characters. You need your Baraka. You can maybe even bring in that cowboy guy. Bring in Striker, maybe, because bringing in original characters is not just bringing in your fan favorites. Like, you know, everybody's got a favorite, a f a favorite character. But you need bodies. You need people who can be fodder, can die. And I get why in the original film they introduced that one dude who got killed by Goro because they needed someone to die. They didn't want to kill off their original characters. But I don't know. Like, do you kill Striker? Maybe? I don't know. You killed off Kung Lao. You just need original characters because people love their original characters. It gets people very excited to see it. And then you you pick which characters you can just kill off. Bring in bring in a lot. Bring in a lot of original characters so that you can have bodies hitting the floor. You can have bodies dying. People just getting killed, decapitated in brutal ways because it's Mortal Kombat. You know, people are used to seeing their favorite characters get ripped apart. That's the whole joy of the game. I don't like it, but a lot of people do. I'm not a Mortal Kombat guy. I'm a Tekken guy. You just need your original characters. Keep Cole around, sure, but bring in a whole heap of original characters to get people hyped, to get people invested, and then kill a bunch of them off, because that's Mortal Kombat. Death to them all. My last point here, number five, the thing that this movie needs to do. Mortal Kombat 2 needs to have the tournament. Now, I didn't mind the story of the first one. I didn't mind that it wasn't the tournament. It was sort of leading up to it and a little bit of like, I'm killing you, you're killing me, killing people on my team so we can't start this tournament and you win by forfeit, whatever, all that stuff. I didn't mind. But I know a lot of people who are like, it wasn't even a tournament. What the crap? You got to have a tournament. And I mean, yeah, it'd be pretty nice. It'd be pretty cool, you know? Enter the dragon rules. Let's do enter the dragon. I don't know how you do the story of bringing in Johnny Cage and him being like a new guy and not knowing what's going on and then you have to explain it to him all over again like he did Cole in the last movie and that's kind of annoying, sure. But I mean, big vehicle just drove by or motorcycles or something, assholes. Um, just do the tournament, man. Do the tournament. People, people gotta die. Do a tournament. Bring in your bad guys, bring in your good guys, people down on both sides. It needs to be a tournament movie. It does. Don't know how you do it, but do it. It is really frustrating that you've got to have a new character to explain everything to because like we just did that with Cole and now we have to do that with Johnny Cage. But maybe he'll be into it. Maybe he'll just like totally get it. Maybe he's just one of those weirdos. But it has to be a tournament. I'd like to see a tournament. Tournaments are really cool. Tournaments are fun. Tournaments are the best part of everything. Tournaments in movies, Enter the Dragon. Tournaments in wrestling, the G1. I'm a nerd. Tournaments in Dragon Ball. Tournaments in Naruto. Tournaments are dope. I don't know what much else to say about the tournament. It just needs to be a tournament. And I think we can all agree on that. So those are my five things that Mortal Kombat 2 needs to do. Martial artist for, for Johnny Cage, preferably Scott Adkins. Uh, new director, new writer, which it has. New editor, new choreographer. Liam for MK2. Uh, new, or what am I saying? What was, what was the number? I don't even know what point three was. Focus on choreography instead of editing. Please, for the love of God. Um, and then, uh, bring in more original characters and a tournament. Sounds good. Those are the five things that Mortal Kombat 2 needs to do. But what do you think? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Am I wrong? Does Mortal Kombat 2 need to do other things? Or was Mortal Kombat totally fine and you just want to see more of this continue? More not choreography, editing, more martial arts cast who's not allowed to actually use their skills that you brought them in for, you f idiots. Makes me so angry. Um, it's not nice. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Head over to Martial Arts Film Freak Instagram, Facebook page, Tristan underscore Glover on the Twitter, and Martial Arts Film Freak on TikTok. I don't mean to be mean to the people that made the movie. Like, you know, you shouldn't do that. They just made such a bad movie. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.